Could you also describe what you do in the God Delusion so eloquently, why you think religion has caused, organized religion has caused mass destruction? Well, it's not the only thing that has. I mean, uh, patriotism has been an, an enormously powerful force for, uh, <clears throat> for mass destruction. If you look at the, the, if you ask people why they went to war in the First World War, the Second World War, um, m many of the wars of, of history, there would be a sort of love of country, uh, would be uh, would be a lot of the motivation. But there's no doubt that throughout history, uh, <coughs> religious faith has has been a major motivator for for war and for destruction. Um, I suppose it's partly because faith, uh, more or less by definition, means belief without evidence. And if you believe something without evidence, it's rather hard to persuade you to give it up. Mm -hmm. uh, if you believe something because of evidence, uh, then if somebody comes a along with c contrary evidence, then you, then you rather easily find you can give it up. But if you pull a shutter down against, uh, against evidence, you say, I, I don't have any evidence, it's just my faith, you've got to accept that. Um, not only do the faithful say that, but the rest of us have bought into the idea that to say something is my faith is a legitimate reason for believing in it and we're not allowed to question it. You can't question somebody's faith, it's just not done. You just don't do it. Why don't you do it? Because you just don't. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> um, and, and it seems to me the only good reason to believe anything is, is, is evidence. But blind faith can be destructive. It, in the vast majority of people, of course, it isn't. But if people are taught from childhood onwards, when they go to their madrasas or whatever it is, that they have to believe this, that everybody believes it, that this is their faith, you don't have to defend it because it's your faith, then a minority of them, maybe uh, even quite a small, a small minority, are going to take their faith really seriously. And taking your faith really seriously might mean that you then uh, become a suicide bomber uh, or um, Yes, I mean, so, some, some deed which you believe with all sincerity and with all righteousness in a way, which you believe is, is what your, your duty to your God is. The people who flew the planes into the World Trade Center were, by their own lights, not wicked people. Uh, they thought they were doing their God's will. They thought they were righteous, good people. They thought they were going straight to a martyr's paradise uh, because of what they were, they were doing. And the reason they thought that is that from childhood onwards, they were brought up to have unquestioning faith uh, in their in their their religion.